Hello grade 12s, in this video I'm going to take you through the memo for your worksheet on bar scales. So here we are on page 1 with question 1 where you've got a map showing the rail links across South Africa. Before we even move on to any of the questions, what you should do is take note of the bar scale that has been given to you on your map. And what you would have done and should have done is taken your ruler and literally measured that distance from 0 to 400 kilometers and everyone will come out slightly different but generally you should have come close to 3.5 centimeters being equal to 400 kilometers and that then is the scale that you would be using for the rest of the assignment. So question 1.1 asks you to use the scale to determine the distance as the crow flies. Now as the crow flies means in a straight line couple of you actually went and measured the squiggliness of this railway line here. You weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to take the as the crow flies distance, the straight line between Cape Town and Bloemfontein. So what you would have done then is you would have measured this straight line here that I've just drawn between Cape Town and Bloemfontein and come out at a, different, at a distance of roughly 8,5 centimeters. Some of you also got 8 centimeters and I would have marked it right. You then have to use your scale up here of three and a half centimeters being equal to 400 kilometers because if you then divide both sides by three and a half, if you divide the left hand side by three and a half and the right hand side by three and a half, you will find that your scale is one centimeter equals 114,285 kilometers. And you then use that scale to work out the distance between Cape Town and Bloemfontein, you would have taken 8,5 multiplied by 114,285 and you get a value of 971,43 kilometers. Now, as I said, your distances may have differed slightly. Some of you got 8 centimeters between Cape Town and Bloemfontein. And you also got the, your scale over here not being three and a half centimeters, but in fact being 3,3 centimeters. I took into account all of those, I hope. And you would have then gotten an answer of roughly 969,70 kilometers. I, again, I hope I managed to account for all of those differences. Please contact me if I didn't. But this is the range of your answers for question one. Question 1.2. The distance between Bloemfontein and Cape Town is given in a distance table as 1,004 kilometers. Compare your answer to the distance given in a table. So if your answer came to one of these here of 971 or 969 kilometers, you would then say, first of all, that the distances are not the same. You must tell me that they are not the same and you would have gotten a mark there. And why are they not the same? Because of the fact that this distance in the distance table is calculated the way I just mentioned earlier, it's taking the root into account, the squiggly root, which is not what we wanted to know. We wanted to know the as the crow flies distance. distance. So your answer should have told me that it's first of all not the same, and the reason it's not the same is because it's um, somewhere, you would have told me somewhere along the lines of a straight line versus a route which is not straight. And give me a nice explanation there. Indicate in which direction from Beaufort West does Durban lie. So you come up to your map and you need to first of all find Beaufort West. Here's Beaufort West over there. Where is Durban? Durban is over there and we want to know the direction of Durban from Beaufort West. So if you're in Beaufort West, here's north, here's east. So that means Durban is northeast or if you want to be very specific, um, it's actually east, northeast. But I accepted northeast as an answer there. Question 1.4, in which direction from Bloemfontein does Umtata lie? So let's come here. We've got Bloemfontein over here. We, I've made a big mess. There's Bloemfontein. 
Where is Umtata? Umtata is over here. And what is the direction from Bloemfontein to Umtata? So you start at Bloemfontein and you know that that is south and that is east. So therefore Umtata is slap bang between the two. It is then a very clear southeast. So your answer here is southeast. 1.5. Use the scale of the map to estimate the length in kilometers of Lesotho if the length is measured as 2 centimeters. So we have to use our scale, which we've um, got up here as 3.5 centimeters being equal to 400 kilometers. That's the scale you must use. So we've got Lesotho being 2 centimeters. We worked out earlier on that that scale of three and a half centimeters being equal to 400 kilometers is the same as one centimeter being equal to 114 kilometers. So two centimeters we need to multiply by 114,285 kilometers and we get a value of 228,57 kilometers is the length of Lesotho. If you had measured your scale slightly differently, um, you say you measured it as one centimeter equals 120 kilometers rather, your answer would have been closer to 240 kilometers. And again, I hope I managed to account for the differences between these two, but this is roughly your range that your answer should fall between. Question two gives you a map of a school You've got um, a sports field, a bunch of maths classrooms, science classrooms, school hall, toilets, and a tuck shop. Measure the width and the length of the school hall in centimeters. And now once again, what you should have done here is have printed out your assignment and literally taken your ruler and measured it out in centimeters. Your width, you got should have got as 4,65 centimeters. Um, I accepted 4,5 centimeters because there could have been discrepancy. Your length at 4,75 centimeters and I got, um, I also accepted 4,5 centimeters there as well. So you can even write that in if you want. I'm writing the 4,5s instead of the 6,5 and 7,5. Next question. Use the bar scale to estimate the real or actual width and length of the school hall in meters. So your bar scale has been given to you over here down in the bottom left hand corner. And if you had measured this out with your ruler, you would have got 1,9 centimeters is equal to 20 meters or even 1,8 centimeters is equal to 20 meters. Then what you have to do is you have to divide both sides by 1,9 to get what 1 centimeter gives you. And 1 centimeter then gives you 10,526 meters. And that is the scale you're going to use to work out the size of your school hall. So if you are using that scale, you take the width of 4,65 centimeters and you multiply it by that scale of 10,526 and you will get a width equal to 48,95 meters. Your length, if you measured it at 4,75 centimeters, you must multiply it also by the same scale, multiply it by 10,526 and you would get a length of 50 meters. If you had measured your school hall rather as four and a half centimeters rather than 4,65 and 4,75, your dimensions would have been slightly different. You would have got 50 by 50.